Hi. In this video tutorial, I'm going to use Minitab to ensure that a recent process change has not impacted the time to complete a task performed by the employees. I'm going to use a statistical test to know whether the time spent to complete the task differs from the target of 10 minutes. During the pilot phase, 500 samples were collected over a two weeks period. Here is the data. I'm going to use the one sample t-test to find out if the average time to complete the task is equal or not equal to 10 minutes. For a one sample t-test, the null hypothesis states that the population mean equals the hypothesized mean, and the alternative hypothesis states that the population mean does not equal the hypothesized mean. The first step is to check the normality of the data. We can achieve it with the graphical summary analysis. We choose STAT, Basic Statistics, Graphical Summary. If we look at the anderson darling normality test in the top right hand corner, assuming an alpha risk of 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and state that our data is not normal, because the p-value is less than 0.05. When the p-value is low, the null must go. When the p-value is high, the null apply. However, because our sample is at least 20 data points, normality is not an issue. The one sample t-test is fairly robust to violation of the normality assumption, but I suggest to make sure that the data is reasonably symmetric. Another assumption is that the data has been collected randomly. If you are still perplexed to go ahead with a one-sample t-test with non-normal data, you can use a non-parametric test such as the one-sample sign, or you can transform the data with the box-cox transformation. We are now ready to run the one-sample t-test. So we choose STAT, Basic Statistics, one-sample t. Choose Samples in colon, then we enter time. Check Perform Hypothesis Test and we type 10 in Hypothesized Mean. Graph and we check Histogram of Data and Individual Value Plot. Then you click Options and if you remember, I null hypothesis was that the time after the new process change has been introduced was equal to 10 minutes and the alternative hypothesis was that the time spent to complete the task was not equal to 10 minutes. So this is the reason why we need to have not equal in this box. Otherwise, you can choose as an alternative hypothesis less than 10 minutes or greater than 10 minutes. Let's examine the graphs. The individual value plot shows that the mean time to complete the task is above 10 minutes and that the task time ranges between approximately 0 and 31 minutes, while the histogram appears to be skewed to the right, indicating that some employees took exceptionally more time to complete the task. If we look at the p-value in the session window, we can see that it's less than 0.05, and for this reason, we reject the null hypothesis that the average time to complete the task is equal to 10 minutes. In other words, the mean time of 10.648 is significantly different from 10 minutes. I would like to attract your attention on the 95% confidence interval. This interval is a range of likely values for the average time to complete the task. We can say that we can be 95% confident that the average time to complete the task is between 10.175 and 11. Point one two one. Thank you for watching.